We've talked about merchandise on this channel a couple times. It's a topic which I find really interesting, no matter how mundane some of it seems. The two most popular pieces of Teenage Robot merch are the DVDs and the sketchbook. I haven't actually bought the DVDs yet, they're way too expensive in Canada. However, I was able to pick up the sketchbook around April, and I have a little I'd like to say about it. Maybe this video could help you decide whether or not you'd be interested in buying it for yourself. Before I start, I should immediately say that hardcore fans will get more enjoyment out of this sketchbook than people without a pre-existing appreciation for the show. I'll explain why later. First of all, I'd like to specify that I have the second edition of the sketchbook. There are minor differences between the prints, mostly formatting changes and the front and back covers. The idea of a My Life as a Teenage Robot sketchbook is really cool. You get to see your favorite frames from the show in their rawest form. If you're a really big fan of the show, this is probably a no-brainer for you to buy. The fact that it's a sketchbook quite literally means it's a book full of sketches. This means that everything seen in the book was either drawn by a pencil or pen. While the backgrounds look just as gorgeous as they do on TV, there's a problem. I don't own any other sketchbooks, and I'm not entirely sure if other sketchbooks are like this, but the quality of the scans they used for this book aren't exactly stellar. There are clear imperfections, such as a tape mark, which is clearly seen on page 79, and whiteout on page 65. This all comes from the sketches actually being used for the production of the show. Some people might find the imperfections interesting. They do show how raw the production of the show was. For other people, this could turn them away. If you are expecting perfection, it's not exactly there. The book was initially published in 2004, which is immediately a little concerning. My Life as a Teenage Robot production finished around 2006. Unfortunately, this means that there's very limited representation from Season 2 and absolutely none from Season 3. My favorite episode is Escape from Cluster Prime, so I was very disappointed by its exclusion, but it's impossible to include something that didn't even exist yet. The second edition came out after the conclusion of the show, but unfortunately both versions are missing a massive chunk of sketches from the production of the show. The biggest reason why I would mostly recommend this book to huge fans of the show can be found on the Teenage Roblog. During the production of the show, the crew would post behind-the-scenes looks at both finalized and early designs of characters and their surroundings. You can access the Teenage Roblog for free, and the creators put their work there themselves for you to see. There's admittedly less material on the Roblog when compared to the book but it's still enough to turn some people towards that instead of buying the book. If you love My Life as a Teenage Robot, I recommend using both resources. We'll be talking about the Teenage Roblog in more detail very soon. The last detail is probably the most important. The price. Well, luckily, the sketchbook is one of the cheapest prices of My Life as a Teenage Robot merch. Right now, in Canada, it's only $13 on Amazon. It's really a no-brainer purchase for fans, and I do believe that it's worth buying despite the flaws. I'll leave a link to the book in the description. I'm curious to know how many of you already own the book. Be sure to let me know in the comments below, and tell me if you agree with my criticisms. I've been your narrator, YoshiFan2010. Thanks for watching! watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you want to reach us, leave a comment or check out our other platforms.
Links are in the description.